We're certainly learning about a lot of cool little niches of Japanese culture on this journey, and I'm all here for it. Tensai Bakabon is a pretty old manga series that dates back to 1967. It follows the misadventures of a dim-witted boy called Bakabon and his equally idiotic father. This video game tribute also came out on Famicom as a Japanese exclusive. Tensai Bakabon is the name of the little kid in the show. He works as a shoe shiner, but has a propensity for mischief. You don't actually play as him in this game, rather you're controlling the kid's dad, Bakabon no Papa. The controls are reasonably straightforward. Press A to jump, B and a direction to run. Pressing B while stationary opens and closes your umbrella, which can be used to slow your fall speed and get across wider gaps. If you come across a single space gap between two walls, you can sort of shimmy your way up between them. If you see blocks floating in the air, they'll quite often conceal food or drink. You don't hit them from below, but instead have to climb up onto them. If they drop a bowl of noodles, this will give you an extra cell on your health bar. If you get a bottle of milk, then this replenishes your health entirely. Papa's movement feels really stiff at first, but I think this is kind of the intention. It's a precise action to get the guy to run. Quite often he'll pull out his umbrella when you don't mean him to. Press your direction first, then B. Note as well the stopping distance, which is a fair way even if you've only dashed a short distance. Falling too far damages you, so don't go tearing off unless you need to, to make a jump, because you need plenty of landing space to slow you down, and you can't whip out your umbrella to slow you down quickly enough. You'll have to push up while jumping to get that little extra height so that he can grab onto a ledge. He'll squirm and struggle, so keep pressing up and the jump button to get him to drag himself up onto the platform. The stiffness and precision might frustrate you at first, but the idea here isn't to fly around gung-ho. Instead, think of it as a similar game to Flashback or Prince of Persia, whereby you need to learn what your character can do in certain situations and use these movement rules to puzzle your way around the stages. Lots of intricacies will crop up as you play. You need to use the umbrella as a balance beam to get across a tightrope. Blocking falling objects with it, attacking enemies and bosses, that sort of thing. It's basically always implied what you have to do. The first level is set in a circus. You need to watch out for the crazed lions and escaped serpents here as they drain your health super quick. Pretty soon you'll fight what looks like the ringmaster and later on a spooky clown. <sighs> The boss fights, the ones I've got to at least, are not great. You automatically engage in combat mode, which sees Dad hold his umbrella like he's Guybrush Threepwood brandishing a cutlass. After the circus, you'll visit a ninja-styled level full of frogs. Not too hard, just master the movement techniques. Then after that, there's a gymnasium. I hit the wall here. At the end of stage 3, there's this jock-looking guy with a backwards baseball cap. You don't fight him, but instead have to beat him in a running race. Remember how mildly irritating it got when Dad kept pulling out his umbrella when you were trying to run? That little facet will become the bane of your existence should you get this far into the game. The race is essentially a platform obstacle course where all your maneuvering skills come into play. It's hard and agonizing beyond belief. The animation is multi-layered and thoroughly charming throughout with sound to match, but what lets this game down is the control system. Everything feels far too stiff and precise, and it can be incredibly difficult to pull off the moves you intend to. It's a shame really, because other than that, this was a very promising title. Unfortunately, the artificial difficulty imposed by the crap controls means you aren't going to want to play it for very long. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of other manga-inspired games, some of which might actually be good. In the words of Bakabon no Papa, Kore de no da!